Hello everyone, it's me, Jay Um, I'm going to talk about uh, three topics today, okay? Two of them are going to be short. Okay, um, my first topic is going to be about the, um, the situation, um, involving the gold store tragedy is what I'm going to call it because um it, 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 it this story was messed up effed up all kind of ways and when you have a president who is allegedly Pre dementia or pre Alzheimer, because uh, this person's fam father had the gene and expressed Alzheimer's and the way they talked, thought, and everything else. So um, this person, um, who is uh, the so-called commander in chief, uh. This is a sorry piece of work. Okay, so I'm going to just say I'm the daughter of a 21-year uh, Army <laughs> Army veteran. My father died uh, back in the 80s, but he was in the Army for 21 years. He, was, he fought in... Uh, he, he fought in... He fought in Korea and uh, Vietnam. He got two purple, two purple horse, and a silver star. And he also had a disability uh, from uh, the Vietnam War. So um, I'm just here to say, as a lot of my family members, especially on uh, my on daddy's side, um, they are. Um, it disgusts me. The whole thing disgusts me. It disgusts me in the way, uh, okay, in the way the widow was treated, okay? I'm not sure to start out with the widow or the so-called commander-in-chief. Um, but uh, I just start with the widow. And the widow, uh, she got a call, uh, a hasty call uh, to come and her husband uh, was a fallen soldier and uh, her name was Maisha Johnson. His, his name was the David Johnson. And uh, to say that he uh, bravely fought and lost his life to save our country. So that's why uh, with, with people in my family, uh, and my, mom, my mom's family too, being military, um, I'm, I'm extremely strong on that issue. You know, you don't just use them as fronts like Trump does. He used them, he always used the military as an agenda for, for some type of agenda. And to the core of his heart, he hate them. He he did that when he um when he when he called out uh Senator McCain. The man was a he was the man was a hero. It was a hero. I mean, he was a prisoner of war. So that showed his contempt for the military, and also uh the contempt he showed uh I don't know it was. Well, one Colin uh, uh, Kaepernick had come to one of his games and to make sure that he didn't offend the military, which everybody said that he was doing, specifically Commander-in-Chief Tangerine. Um, so he brought, I think he brought 
two of his friends, and they both were in their military uniforms, and they both kneeled. So, it, and it wasn't about, um, you know, it wasn't anything about the flag or this or that. It was about discrimination and brutality. But y'all know about that by my by Colin uh, Kaepernick's uh, video that I did. Um, this thing, the orange cut, uh, uh, um, the tangerine uh, commander in chief. Uh oh, he just. He 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 was too good to serve in in, in in Vietnam. He was too good to sign up for anything. No, he had to have five deferments uh for college. It didn't do any good. He can't read. He can't articulate his sounds. He can't put words together. He 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 doesn't know grammar or mechanics. So what what the what the fuck was <laughs> The five uh, deferments for four deferments for. Oh, he also doesn't have any uh, etiquette. That's going to be a big issue in this video. And he doesn't, ha and he lacks etiquette. Just basic etiquette that a, you teach a, a ten-year-old. So anyway, um, to, I got off the topic. Okay. Oh, and this fifth one was for. Uh, what, what, did, what they say it was uh, um, some kind of uh, something in his foot, a bone spur in his foot, you know. So you you know that was BS. I mean, it's retort. As I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't. As a uh, developmentally challenged, allegedly the minute that he appears to be at college. There was no, he could have just gone on. Okay. So anyway, uh, uh, Mrs. Johnson, she was in the car with, uh, her, uh, uh, cause her, her, um, representative, uh, Frederica, um, Wilson of, um, of, of I'm sorry, of, uh, Florida, and uh, her mother-in-law, and that's when it came, when the call came, the call came when the, the, uh, I called him Trump, because I don't consider him my president, anyway, Trump uh, called up to tell her that it's her, that her husband had died and everything, and um, he told her, "Oh, uh, in so many words, you get what you signed up for." After he announced that she he had died, you get what you signed up for. Duh. My daddy knew he would. He he was in two wars. He knew he he could die. Everybody in the military know that they could die. I mean, that's a pre. That's just a uh, a job description of the job. The uh, a fun essential function of the job. You know, you might um, get killed. So that hurt her desperately, and he also kept calling. Uh, Sergeant Johnson, her guy, her guy. And uh she said that uh Mrs. Johnson said that he was uh uh he was going through paperwork trying to figure out what his name was. Uh what his name what is his name? What is his name? I mean he was just fumbling through papers. And Mrs. Uh Johnson said that, that hurt her to her heart. He had the nerve to call, make a a bad, poor uh, sympathy, and to look for his name that he didn't know. She, he didn't. He, he Trump didn't even know the man's name. 
Now, Trump could have easily, but like I say, he 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 has some form of dementia or something. You just look at all the pictures. See, look at all the pictures of him. But anyway, so in all the pictures and all the videos, put Trump dementia, and, and, and you and it'll show you. And David Pakman, he's good at that. Go to David Pakman. He'll show you those dementias. Okay. So anyway, after the um um. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting <laughs> restless. Uh, so they heard him say that, and he didn't utter a word of sympathy. I'm sorry, your husband died in line of duty. But like I said, like I was saying, he should have gotten uh uh somebody up a. a Press writer, a speech writer, or somebody, uh, some, some, someone to help him with that uh, situation. He should have gotten some kind of assistant or press writer to write out a uh, sympathy letter and make sure the name, the titles, and everything was in there. And, uh, practice how to tell the wife that but that man's stubborn he he wouldn't listen anyhow he wouldn't listen but i'm, I'm saying the proper thing that a, a, a real president would do they would have done that in practice and you know told of the uh widow how sorry they were they died in the line of duty there was an honor and everything like that but no not President Tangerine. <laughs> he had to be gross. He had to be uh, absent-minded, just in his own world. But anyway, but also Mrs. Mrs. Johnson sent uh, Miss um, Representative uh, Representative Wilson was also a constituent and family friend, so. Ms. Johnson wanted to know why are they not telling me what happened? Why are they telling me I can't have an open grave, open car, car, open open casket? Because I'm, I, I, she said I want to see my husband. I want to see if it's really him. And uh, they just told her, well, he just mutilated so bad that uh. He, uh, we can't give him an open casket. And that hurt her still. And, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't know about this situation and, uh, the fact that, uh, they don't, um, the, the little bit that they do know. He was in Nigeria and Africa, and uh, there were four of them. It was him and three white guys. Somehow those white guys got away. I don't know how, but anyway, they left Sergeant uh, Johnson to die. So, you know, I, you know so I, don't, I, I can't go into other details than that. So that's all that they know. And um, they're doing a, a GoFundMe for Mrs. Johnson. I'm sure she probably get up to a million dollars in the future, probably by payday. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to. I don't, I don't have a little much, but being you know a military daughter, I I give a little bit that I can. And I'm sorry for her because they were childhood sweethearts. Now that you can't get more romantic than that, they were childhood sweethearts, and um, and they had the two children, the son and the daughter, and Mrs. Johnson was pregnant, you know, uh, with her third child. They were expecting another child, and uh, I hope I please do not, Lord, let this woman get a miscarriage over this stupid ass president and the 
Oh, and that that, that so called John Kelly thing that looks like uh Tales from the Crypt. Now his ass, he should have been more. He was he was uh, with with, with uh, uh what the the house the chief of house or something like that. I don't know what they call him, but anyway. He was telling, he was, he was also goading Mrs. Johnson along with making her feel worse with, uh, Trump. And the odd thing was, uh, this John Kelly guy, the chief of house or whatever, his son died in, in combat too. And he had no empathy, just like, uh, just like, a Trump. I mean, <laughs> that's they 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 some tough people. <laughs> they have empathy for money though. <laughs> they have empathy for stealing people money. <laughs> but uh, meanwhile, they're they have been making death threats to uh to. Senator um Senator uh Frederica Wilson because she's trying to get to the bottom of the things. So she's kinda hidden out and uh and this is just for doing her job, you know. Um but the little she knows is uh Trump does what he always does. He says that uh, he wasn't responsible for that mission. That the mission uh, occurred before his uh, before he became president. They okay. Uh, they usually tell you what's going on. All the. Uh, all, all the military strategies and things when you become president so you'll know what's going on. They don't just throw you in there and you don't know what's going on at, at, in, in certain bases and certain uh, ally, comp, ally, uh, ally countries uh, uh, and, uh, and, and um, what's the other countries? And uh, enemy enemies, they usually tell you that they brief you that. Now, if you don't want to hear it, which is what I, uh, Trump did, then you just don't want to hear it, you know, because oh, it can't hurt this beautiful mind. But anyway, I'm just pissed off, disgusted. And my daddy used to tell me the war stories and what people did, how they did. Oh, Lord. He loved to talk about war stories. But that's why I feel so strongly about this in this video. Uh, go ahead, everyone. Uh, pray. Please pray for uh, Mrs. Johnson and her two children. And uh, please pray that she get... Uh, um, what you call it? Um, I, I just cannot think today. <laughs> bed rest, be on bed rest, so she won't be at risk for losing her baby. And um, I, I the things I have to say about uh Trump, Tangerine President. And that so-called crypt, tales of the crypt, um, and tales of the crypt, Kelly, I, I, I don't have the words for them, and um, I'm too much of a lady to to say them right now, but um, I just wanted to tell you, uh, from the viewpoint of a descendant dependent of a uh military person i mean not not that I, my dad he he died of a heart attack but um j you know just understanding the 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 culture the mores uh 
how they always stick together. So, and also, I'm just pissed. And but they'll be all right. We'll pray for them, make it all right. And God will put God will put her through. He 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 won't let her get through this. It's sad. Okay, thank you.